right now we gotta go get some paint uh my next door neighbor down the street he uh so i guess it's not really my next door neighbor my neighbor down the street uh constantly sees me painting my garage and he uh, was walking by and asked me if i would paint his garage and so um we're gonna paint his garage but this is gonna be an interesting project because we're literally painting the inside of the garage door so there's gonna be all kinds of different obstacles so this will be an interesting video uh, right now we're gonna go get some paint so let's go get it This piece was definitely influenced by hip hop culture, more specifically the elements of hip hop culture. So all four of the elements of hip hop uh, will be represented in this piece from the b-boys to the graph writers, to the DJs, to the MCs. Uh, I even threw in a, a, a dude making beats. When my neighbor and I discussed about what we were painting, he said that he wanted to do a music slash hip hop theme. Uh, and then uh, I didn't really know what I, exactly what I was gonna do. I had an idea. Um, but we mostly just freestyled this whole piece um, and it wasn't that difficult because when I walked in there was tons of inspiration around me. There was posters plastered all over the wall of some of the greatest hip hop artists ever from Jay-Z to Biggie, Tupac, Keek, E-40. There's just tons of posters plastered all over the wall which you'll see at the end of the video and um, it was just super inspiring and motivational. My neighbor hit me up and asked me if we could do a hip hop elements themed mural. I was super juiced because um, that was exactly what got me into art in the first place was 
uh, hip hop culture and the elements of hip hop and more particularly graffiti. Uh, my mom had a boyfriend who had a son and his son was older than I was, a lot older than I was. And he was a, a hip hop head and he was a graffiti artist and I would see him sketching in his black book. And uh, that was in third grade. And I knew uh, that I wanted to do graffiti from that point on. Right, so now we got the first piece done. We definitely got all the elements of hip hop in there. Uh, we got the turntables to represent the DJs. We got the microphone going through the letters to represent the MCs. We got the uh, shell toes in there to represent the B-boys and B-girls. And then we also don't forget the spray cans for the graffiti artists. So now that we got all those elements represented in there, we're gonna move on to the second piece. The second piece actually, um, isn't the same theme definitely not the same color scheme or anything the second piece is going to say ride with the mob it was inspired by my neighbor's passion for a bmx bike he has a super dope yellow black and gold uh red line and so we went and took that idea and that color scheme and kind of ran with it with the second piece so hopefully you guys enjoy it and then after this we get to the final product don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get back to the video All right, y'all, we made it to the end. Thank you guys for watching until the end. I super appreciate it. Uh, down in the comments below, let me know what your favorite part of this video was. Also, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because that way, if you do that, you can find out when my next video comes and you can be one of the first people to watch it. Also, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, please feel free to hit the links down in the description below. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Here's the final product. Let's get it. I ignore it. I don't stress it. I keep it moving, keep it moving like a Fitbit. Let it go.